Hello, I'm Steve Pendergrass from FictionWise, a subsidiary of Barnes & Noble, and I'm going to talk today about e-reader uh, for iPhone and iPod Touch. This is the latest version of e-reader, one of the most popular reading applications for the iPhone and the iPod Touch with over a million downloads. To launch e-reader, simply tap on its icon, and after a couple of seconds, you get a list of the books that are actually stored on your device. You can scroll through them in different ways. One uh, new feature in this release is the ability to see thumbnails of the covers right on your bookshelf view screen. You can sort your bookshelf in different ways. Here I'm sorting by title. You can also sort by author or by most recent uh, date of download. Let me go back to title. Uh, another New option is if you just turn sideways, you get a cover flow view, and uh, this is a nicer, snazzier view of your books. You can see larger cover images of them. I'm going to select uh, Angels and Demons, it's a recent motion picture. We'll turn back to this view. So, what you see right away is when you first come into the book, you have icons at the top and the bottom of the screen. Those are different options, and we're going to go through those during this demonstration. But normally what you're doing is reading and you see the book pages. You can either tap or swipe at your option to turn pages. Tap on one side to go backward, tap on the other side to go forward. Since I'm in tap to turn mode, if I swipe I'll bring up options. So one of the options is table of contents. So you can bring up a table of contents and go to any chapter in the book, select it, and jump right to that chapter. You can also find text if I hit the little magnifying glass icon. Let me search for the word code because being a Dan Brown book, probably the word code is in there some way. And we see the Da Vinci Code, which is one of his previous books, the word code appearing in the book. You can also find again, hitting the find again icon and find the next occurrence of the word code in the book. You can also hit this icon here to reverse video the pages to go to your night theme. So you can have a day theme and a night theme. When you're reading in the dark or, or in dim conditions, most people find it more comfortable to have a dark background with light colored letters on top of them. And in the daytime, typically uh, you want it the opposite. You want uh, dark letters on a white background. We'll go through some more of those options later. Another option you have is to lock the orientation. So normally when you turn the book, it automatically switches orientation. I actually prefer to read um, in landscape mode like this. But if you're reading in bed, you wouldn't want it to turn. So you may be laying on your side and reading. So if you hit this little lock icon, now the orientation is locked. So it won't change when you turn. Another option for reading is uh, auto scroll. So if I select auto scroll, then the book will scroll automatically and so you don't need your hands at all. You can adjust the speed by using this little speed control, so I'll make it go faster. And you can bring it to whatever your reading speed is. And a lot of people use this in the gym. Uh, they may be on a treadmill machine or something like that and they set the book down on the machine and uh, don't even need to use their hands to read. Also know people with arthritis uh, like this mode you don't have to use your hands. You just tap to stop the auto scroll and you go back to normal page turning mode. There's numerous options because everyone likes things a little bit different way. If you click on options you'll see all the different options you've got. Uh, font size is one that a lot of people uh, like to customize. Uh, I use a kind of mid-sized font called uh, large-ish. We have seven different sizes to choose from. Let me put the book on gigantic which is our largest font. Take a look at how that looks. And you can see that that's an extremely large uh, print. Uh, that would be typically a person with some kind of visual impairment would use a font that large because you can only see a few, uh, a few sentences per page. But uh, we have that option for those people who need it. Let me go back to the font size that I prefer. And you also have other options like line spacing and margins. You uh, can make the text a little closer together or a little farther apart. Some people prefer the text closer together so they get more words on a page. 
Uh, other people like the defaults. I, I use the defaults on that, that, that kind of uh, setting. You also get to choose whether or not the book is fully justified, that is, whether it's lined up, the text is aligned on the right, or whether it's ragged right. I prefer ragged right, a lot of people do, but you can easily turn that on or off. You can also customize your own theme uh, by hitting the edit button, and you can click on add a new theme, and you can actually individually select colors for the text versus the page uh, using a color wheel. Uh, so that's a uh, gives you a lot of customization. Other things you can choose are the page turn gesture. As I said before, you can choose to either tap or swipe. I prefer to tap. Some people prefer to swipe to turn the pages. If you're tapping to turn pages, then swiping brings up those icons at the top and the bottom of the screen for options, and vice versa. If you're swiping to turn pages, then a tap will bring those up. You can choose whether or not you want to animate the page turn. So by default, the pages animate when you turn them. You see the kind of uh, wipe from uh, right to left. Uh, you can turn that off and just have the, uh, see how that looks, have the pages just replace with no animation. I prefer the animation because it gives you a little feedback on uh, whether you're, you know, which direction of the book you're going. If you happen to tap too close to the center where the, where the program couldn't tell whether you want it to go forward or backward. You can choose whether or not the status bar shows at the top of the screen. You, I prefer it on so I can see what time it is easily, uh, but other people prefer to turn it off because that'll give you a little bit more text on the screen. The next option is uh, what to do when you select text. We'll talk about selecting text in a moment, but you can set this to ask you what to do or to automatically you know, do a dictionary lookup or a highlight or a note or don't do anything at all because you don't like to use those features and, and you don't want to do them by accident. So there's several different options there. So let's talk about text selection. To select text, what you do is you put your finger on a piece of text you want to select and you pause for it. You press it down and you pause for a moment. And this way the program can tell the difference between a tap to turn a page and a, page and a text selection. So if I just put my finger on the word thank here and I pause for a moment and then I sweep my finger, then I'm selecting the text. And now because I have it set to ask me what to do, I can select look the text up in a dictionary, highlight it, or add a note. Let me say, let's say highlight, and now the text highlights. To see a list of all your different highlights, bring up the menu, go to the table of contents page, and you'll notice at the bottom we have three different icons. By default, we're looking at the table of contents that came with the book, but you can also select notes highlights, and if you select that, you'll see all the notes and highlights that you have made in the book, and you can jump directly to one of them by tapping on it. So that lets you see all the different uh, things that you're interested in in the text. You can also bookmark pages. Let's go to kind of a random page here. Bookmarking is really simple. You just tap the upper right hand corner of the page and you'll see that it curls to kind of uh, make the, the book look dog-eared. And now that page is bookmarked. And again, bookmarks are accessed from the table of contents and again, there's three icons at the bottom. I'll select the bookmarks. So this shows me every page I bookmarked. And I can tap to jump back to a particular bookmarked page. You can unbookmark a page by just tapping again in the corner. So the bookmark appears and disappears uh, each time you tap. You can also look up words in a dictionary. Now this requires that you have previously uh, purchased a dictionary and installed it on your device and opened it. You have to open it so that the program knows which dictionary you want to use. So if you have multiple dictionaries, whichever one is the last one you opened is the one that gets used to look up words when you're in another book. So let's say I don't know what the word pyramid means. I tap and hold again and release, and then I select look up in dictionary, and it gives me the definition of the word pyramid. So that's really uh, very simple. Tap a couple of times to get back to the text of the book. So those are all the different features uh, having to do with selected text.